Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Sorry I haven't been posting a lot lately. Things have been kind of hectic with the new job and whatnot, but we're back in today's episode. I'm just gonna give you a little, kind of little run through of how I make quick cash doing side jobs. I mainly stick to repairs now, like coming from the heavy equipment and the custom fabrication for the landscape company, I've learned repairs for the side jobs is where I make my bread and butter. So I'm just gonna show you this quick little job, make a couple hundred bucks in probably about 30 minutes, which isn't too bad. So stick around, let's get to it. All right, so let's get started by cutting this out. We got inch and a half by inch and a half. So all I'm gonna do is go, go a little under inch and a half. Oh, my pen's falling apart. So today I'm running my Vulcan MIG welder. Like I said, I'm running 035 wire, 16 gauge. So I'll go to the presets. Usually the Vulcan burns kind of hot. So I'm gonna, uh, 14, we'll tone it down just a little bit. Should be good to go. Got another jacket, my stockings filled with acid. Am I dreaming what just happened? I'm center setting this I got two little shims that way I know I'm center top and bottom and it'll give me a perfect fit on each end so I got four of them all right got my shims in place I'm gonna turn the welder up just a little bit I'm running a tad bit too cold I want to move a little faster with this. Always check your square. No matter what you're doing, no matter how good you think your eyes are, check your square. Tack it, check your square again. Right when you tack it, it is gonna pull.
All right, got the top run, top and bottom, got the cap, grind down. All that is left is this center little picket. So we are just gonna find our center, cut this to size, weld this in, and then all we have left is the install, which will be very, very quick, very quick. All right, so finding center, we are six inch, easy peasy, three inch center, mark that, top and bottom. All right, let's find our overall length, 46 and a half, so we will mark 46 and a half. Ooh, yeah, hot. All right, because I don't have any other shins other than these, and this doesn't get me where I need to be, I'm going to eyeball center on this one, tack it, square that in, and match it up. Pretty much is the filler piece. Now what I like to do is double check. Just anytime I'm doing fencing, I like to double check because when you're doing a lot of this stuff and you're trying to be repetitious, never fails, you're always gonna miss a joint somewhere. So it's, it's good to go through and check. So yeah, that's it. Just gonna connect this to the piece and this should make it right to the wall and that took me all about 15 minutes to make this. Probably another 10 minutes to install it, make a couple hundred bucks. So yeah, next clip will be uh, install. Just got to the client's house. I'm gonna load everything up into the backyard, get this install going. All right, got everything back here. This is the spot that she's worried about the kids getting through. This is our little piece that we fabbed up. I'm gonna have to trim it maybe about half an inch. I did it. A little longer just to give myself some wiggle room because I wanted to get it right up to the center block wall. So we're going to trim that, tack it up, burn it in.
All right, there you have it. That took all about 10 minutes to install. Now no kids can get through the gate. Everything is good. Everything is safe. All right, that's gonna wrap it up for today, guys. Um, sorry there wasn't a lot of commentary or explanation. Um, this video wasn't really, I wasn't even gonna film it just because of how fast the job was and I know that I couldn't put a lot of content out there. But I did, on the other hand, wanna show you guys that if you are just getting into welding and you're not quite at the uh, experience where you could take on bigger jobs or it's just you and you don't have help, repairs, small repairs, you can pick and choose what you wanna do, what you wanna tackle. And jobs like this, if you're just looking to make a couple hundred bucks on top of what your nine to five is like I'm doing, then it's easy. You get a little MIG welder, a generator, a couple hand tools. And as far as advertising, I use Instagram, a little bit of Facebook, Craigslist, um, Facebook Marketplace. And the one that has gotten me the most work is Nextdoor app. Um, so there, there's plenty of ways for free advertisement. And the more jobs you do, the more word of mouth you'll get. And you know, more jobs equals more tools and you can build your business off of that, guys. So with that being said, I appreciate you guys for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. Leave some comments on what you guys want to see next. Or if you just want to ask questions about what tools I'm using or, you know, anything like that, I'm more than willing to get back to you guys as quick as possible. So again, I appreciate you guys for the support. Until next time, see ya.